Let's go to Brandon Judd, National Border Patrol Council President. Uh, Brandon, good to see you. Thanks for joining me. Um, we recently uh, had a story about Kamala Harris going to Texas, right? But she came to Texas not to come to the southern border where you work, but she came to Texas to do a political fundraiser for a Democrat ally of hers. If Kamala had gone to the, hair, uh, gone to the border, uh, Brandon, what would she see? Uh, she would have seen complete and total chaos, but that's the reason she didn't go to the border. If she goes to the border, it's going to be expected that she fixes this. She took a calculated risk. Biden took a calculated risk that this issue was not going to be covered honestly by the media. They knew that the media was going to largely ignore what was taking place on the southwest border, and they, th they thought that it wasn't going to affect them in the midterms. But we're seeing that that's the exact opposite. We're seeing that the American public is very enraged about what's going on um, on the southwest border, and that's why she continues to ignore. She continues to not go down there because it's just going to draw even more attention to all of their failings um, that, that we're currently seeing. All of the deaths that are happening with these migrants that are crossing the border illegally, all of the fentanyl that's coming in the United States, it directly falls on their shoulders. You know, Brandon, it's interesting because um, we've seen and talked about extensively the fact that Hispanic voters, uh, especially in Texas, have moved from, you know, Democrat yeah. voters to Republican voters. And it's mainly a, an issue on the southern border. They don't feel safe. There's crime. Their hospitals are filled. Their schools are full. Um, and even with Democrats losing a key base of their voting bloc, they still won't come to the border and they still won't address the problems that a lot of their, a lot of their traditional voters are saying, we can't be with you if you can't address this problem. Well, everybody's not just feeling what, the, what, what it is. That it's crime that's affecting their communities. They're also seeing the, all the money that's going out. Look at what Eric Adams just said. He just said that it's going to cost them a billion dollars to take care of, of what's a, what amounts to a drop in the bucket of the number of people that are crossing the border illegally. Arizona is feeling this. Um, the Hispanic communities are feeling all of this. They're feeling all of the pressure, both, both with the crime and the economic issues that, that all of this brings in. So Texas, Arizona, yes, the Hispanic community, they are changing. They're, they're starting to see that the values are coming from the Republican Party, not from the Democrat Party. When you look at the, when, when you look at the values of, of people in Mexico, they're highly conservative, they're religious individuals, and they're starting to come here and they're, and, and they're ignoring the rhetoric that the left is giving them, and they're actually looking for who's giving us everything that we need, and that is the Republican Party at this time. Brandon, I want you to stay with me. We actually have uh, Griff Jenkins, who's with us now. He got the gremlins out of his uh, system down in Texas. Uh, Griffey, if you're there, I think we can hear you now. What do you have? Well, Sean, we've got a train going by. I apologize for that train horn, but at least you can hear me now. Let me take you, Sean, just up to our Sky Drone. What I wanted to show you is what Vice President Harris won't see, and that is the Rio Grande River. The Del Rio sector is ground zero for migrant crossings, and the numbers are overwhelming, as Brandon Judd was just saying to you. Let me show you some video from our drone this morning. You see here a group of 100 to 150, mostly from Venezuela, Cuba, Colombia, but they're also from his places as far away as Syria, Somalia, and Iran. Just some of the countries represented in the last weekend that saw more than 13,000 migrants at the border. We also shot a large group on Sunday. These large groups, they've had more than 10 this fiscal year. That's why Congressman Tony Gonzalez, who represents the single pass area, is criticizing Harris for not seeing it firsthand. Here's a little bit of what Gonzalez had to say. Take a listen. This only ends when the federal government steps in, and that starts with the Biden administration, when they enforce the laws that are already in the books. Otherwise, whether it's the governor or the mayor of El Paso or anyone else, all you're doing is just moving pawns around. It does not get to the heart of the problem. And Sean, the other part of this, human smuggling is on the rise. DHS reports they're seeing a 500% increase in smuggling arrests. Sean, we'll send Grip, it back to you. Griff Jenkins, thank you for that report and sticking with us. I appreciate it. All right, Brandon Judd, National Border Patrol Council President, back with us. Brandon, uh, take a look at this. Rolling Stone magazine blaming Republicans for wanting to ruin Halloween by scaring families about the fentanyl crisis, specifically with the fact about the rainbow-colored uh, pills disguising uh, fentanyl uh, within that candy. Brandon, is this a fair concern that parents should have going into uh, the Halloween season where we all go trick-or-treating and, you know, kids get candy door-to-door? 
It is absolutely monstrous that the media would say something like this, especially when they're not looking at protecting children. These are little children that these cartels are advertising um, their products to. These, um, these Skittle-like uh, uh, fentanyl pills that are, that are going to be going to the children, and then to have a media outlet like the Rolling Stones come and say that the Republicans are just trying to scare everybody. This is the reality that we face right now. The, the reality is, is that these cartels want to generate profits. They're looking for new um, customers, and those customers are becoming younger and younger every single day, every single year. And this is what, what, what we can expect from the mainstream media. They don't want to have the honest conversation. All the American people want, all we want to do is have an honest conversation. And if that conversation is had, we know that changes would be made. That's and right. that's why they're not doing it. They continue to pander their, to their far left base. They continue to pander to uh, their, their readers and their, their, their viewers. And it's monstrous to see what they're doing. Brandon Judd, thanks for having an honest conversation with us. I appreciate you joining us and sticking with us as we went through Griff Jenkins' gremlins there. I appreciate it. All right.